Hello! Today I've got an exciting video for you which is the revelation of the next publishers that I will be reading for my independent publishing series and what the books that I'm going to be reading from them are and I've had these in a brown package on my shelf for the longest time so it's exciting to finally be able to get them out and look at them because I haven't even really read the blurbs or anything like that because I knew it was going to be so long before I got to read them but Finally, the time has come, so I can now reveal that the next publisher I'm going to be delving into is Blue Moose Books. Now, I hadn't actually heard of this publisher until I announced that I was going to be doing this series, and the one that a lot of people recommended was Blue Moose Books, and I then realised that I already had one of their books on my shelf, which was in the moth box that I got at the start of the year, so it kind of seemed perfect. Now, the main reason that I went with these guys and bought the books so long ago was because there was a two for ten pound offer on their website which was a fantastic bargain so I had to jump straight in and get I don't know whether that offer is still on I did mean to check before I started filming but preparation is never my strong point I will link their website down below so you can go and check it out my inclination would be to say that the offer is probably over now it was March when I bought these books and on the website at the time it didn't have a deadline for when it was going to be finishing but it said that it was part of a promotion for their anniversary and was meant to be ending in September so I don't know why it was still going in March but I highly doubt that it's still going a year later. I will say that the postage cost with these guys was pretty pricey, so by the time I had paid for the postage, I ended up actually paying more for these books than I did for the salt books, which I got before them. Um, not that it's fair to make a comparison like that, and I think, you know, postage is going to be expensive on weighty books, but that's just something to bear in mind, I think, before you get carried away with the two for ten pound offer, and I certainly think if the books were full price, I might have thought twice about buying them. But that said, I did buy quite a lot. I bought four books off of them, so obviously the weight of that is going to add up. Um, and obviously I already had the ones. So I am again doing five books from Blue Moose. And without further ado, I will let you know what they are. So I'm going to start with the only one of these I've heard a lot about. And that is The Less Than Perfect Legend of Donna Creosote by Dan Micklethwait. I have heard a few things about this. I know a few people on booktube have read it. And I have to be honest, I think it's pretty much been all bad things that I've heard. I think the trouble is this is a book that sounds fantastic. And I think people probably go into it expecting it to be fantastic. And I think a lot of people seem to have been quite disappointed. I'm hoping going into it with that in mind might lower my expectations and hopefully make me enjoy it more. But I have to say I'm not surprised that people have gone into this with high expectations. Because it does sound really good. So this is kind of a fairy tale esque setting, a fantastical world in which there are a lot of stories and I think the streets and buildings that are paved out of stories and things like this and I think it's about sort of a small town and everyone's feeling quite enclosed in this story world and the main character Donna goes on a quest to sort of widen their horizons. I don't know how I'm going to find this and as I say I I'm going into it sceptically but when I saw that it was a Blue Moose book I couldn't not pick it up because as I say I have been intrigued by the plot enough to at least give it a go. Then I've got the book that came in the moth box at the start of the year and that is The Handsworth Times by Sharon Duggle. So I haven't heard that much about this actually, I think I've only seen one review. This is set in 1981 in Handsworth and it looks at very fractured Britain and obviously Margaret Thatcher was in charge and things were obviously changing in society and the way workers were treated and I think this is probably a sort of working class town and how they deal with those changes and I think it's about coming together and finding society among all that misery and it sounds not necessarily like something I would pick up but I'm hoping to enjoy it and I think it will be quite interesting in terms of the history and the general feeling of the time I think it's probably going to be quite atmospheric then I've got Stranger Than Kindness by Mark A. Radcliffe which I had never heard of but funnily enough the day after I ordered it I saw it in my local library this one I think is probably the one that I'm most excited for it's set in 1989 when psychiatric wards and the way they are run is set to change in a major way um, Adam our main character is working in that psychiatric ward and then from what I can tell it goes to the future when he is no longer working there and he has to make up for the wrongs that he did when he was there. I think that's what it's about. One thing that I did find with the blurbs on these is that they kind of 
were a bit all over the place and I couldn't fully understand the plots from reading them which is a slight concern for me because if I can't understand the blurb what are my chances of understanding the book but hopefully I will enjoy these anyway as I say I like the idea of this one I love books that look at psychiatric care and the way it has changed over the years and it's a fascinating subject so hopefully this will be a good one then I've got Tainted Love by Anna Shilvers. Again, this is one that I'm not sure about from reading the blurb. There seemed to be a lot of characters that are mentioned there and it wasn't completely clear what the focus of the story was but from what I can tell this predominantly focuses on a girl whose mum leaves her when she's very young and who comes back into her life later down the line. From what I can tell this is quite a gothic story. As the cover would suggest I think it's meant to be quite spooky and I think it focuses on the idea of how stories can change our lives and how old stories can come back to haunt us so that will be quite interesting as well and fingers crossed it will make more sense to me than the blurb did and then finally I have got If You Look For Me I Am Not Here by Sereyu Srivatsa I don't know if that's how you say that name this is a stunning cover I don't know if you can see that that's got to be my favourite of the lot I think um, and I also really like the title which is why I picked this one up so this is set in India and I believe it looks at a woman who is set to have twins but at the birth the girl of the pair dies and the male twin that is left is constantly feeling as though his mum's loss for her daughter is kind of reflected on their relationship and that he feels that he has to be a daughter that she never had. Um, that's all I can tell but I'm quite interested to read this one because it's set in India and I think it's always good to read stories that are set in places different from where you live and I've never actually read a story based in India I don't recall anyway so that's kind of the main draw for this one for me and I think out of all of them it sounds like the one with the most staple plot line so fingers crossed I am hoping to really enjoy this one. So I'm very excited to get stuck in. These don't ignite my excitement quite as much as the thought books that I read did, but then they were very much my cup of tea, and there is a much more eclectic selection on the Blue Moose Books website. So we'll see how I get on with those. I will be doing the same as I did with my salt books, where I will be reading and then reviewing each individual book, and then once I finish them all, I will do a complete wrap-up, but that might not be for a while, because I don't again intend to completely binge read these I'll probably read one a month or so um so we will see how it goes keep an eye out for their individual reviews and the wrap up at the end please let me know down below if you've had any good experiences with Rumo's books do you think I'm going to get along with them okay and I will see you next time bye